That's not good for the class, though. I'm the one that talks funny. Um, <laughs> I, I arrived here um, from London yesterday afternoon. So at the moment, for me, it's just gone 3 a.m. in the morning. So if I close my eyes and go quiet, I'm not dying and going to be a message to keep James in business. I am just getting tired. Um, but no, seriously, um, I, I don't know what time zone I'm in, but I'm just grateful and happy to be here. We have such a fabulous time together. Um, I think people just assume that as mediums, that we see the spirit world full form and we hear every word they say. Uh, we wish that was the case, the but it's not. Um, mediumship is, I always say it's a bit like having a jigsaw puzzle. You know all the pieces fit together, but it didn't come in a box with a picture, so you've got no idea what it's going to look like. Um, and we get our information, I certainly get mine, um, through an emotion, through a feeling, through an image, a word, an emotion. Um, and it's down to me to try and work out um, in the right way and interpret the information correctly so that you understand what it is that your loved one wants to say. So that's how I work. I don't always know where I'm going in my audience. So I always say it's a bit like my, my map reading. I don't know where I'm going, but I always get to my destination. So. <laughs> and, and I tend to be, um, I never know what's going to happen either, which is great. Just put yourself out there. And every time I do this, it's different. So I've done this now for 37 years, mm -hmm. and every every single meeting I have is very different. Every reading is very different, and it's a miracle each time. And it depends on me how the spirit people want to work with you, the crowd, the people that you bring with you. If you sit there and say, "Come to me, come to me, come to me, come to me," you can be assured we will not come to you <laughs> <laughs> because you're, you're blocking the energy for them to use it. So you want to keep the space as open as possible in order to let them work with you, the spirit people. And sometimes I'm drawn as far as the space or the area to go to. Sometimes I'll see someone standing behind someone, but sometimes uh, downloading information the spirit will give to me in my mind, because it's mind-to-mind -mind communication. The soul is the mind, the mind is the soul. And the spirit mind, they will send you a thought, an emotion, a memory of the, how you remember them. And then we give that out to in the audience to see where that belongs and try to find the recipient, and then we begin the, uh, the contact. And, and the thing which we really, really need, to, we're having a three-way tonight. And <laughs> our latest joke, you know, Mike, that's a good joke. <laughs> Try that in London, it might work. A three-way. <laughs> so there's, there's a spirit world, we're all ready, and, and we're ready. But the last part is you, you're the other aspect of this, the factor. So all we ask of you is for you to respond. If you sit there and go, uh, that won't help, does not help. So we need your energy, we need to hear you, we need for you to be part of the experience. Is that okay? Yes. So really would love for you to say yes to information, or no, or I don't know. So why don't we try that? Yes, say yes. Yes. Long Beach was louder. No. 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 No, no it's to be quieter. I don't know. That's all we ask, and, we'll and please only uh, acknowledge it and stand up if the information makes sense to you. We don't like body snatchers. We don't like this running grab or something. So, no, so it is really important. And, um, and that's it. Anything you'd like to add to that? You no, know, I think it's also keeping your mind open to um, the reality that the person that you may wish to hear from the most may not be the first communicator that we become aware of. Um, because um, there's something about when, when we move, and we move into the power, as we call it in our world, um, and that's the power and the energy of ourselves and that of the communicator from the spirit world, is that maybe it might be grandmother that comes first, um, that grandmother is the one that helps us work to get to a place and a space where we feel someone else. And that sometimes can take a little bit of time, so keep your mind open to, you know, uh, acknowledging the people from the spirit world just because you don't want to hear from them. There's a need uh, in their respect to want to communicate with you. Um, and it's about, you know, just uh, honoring them, uh, acknowledging them, and uh, just being part of the experience. It, it's the true or true, but many people think we go to them because we like what you're wearing or your hair is a certain style. <laughs> Really, we work, I mean, you're wonderful people, you're very nice looking people. <laughs> but we really work for the spirit world, in that they really are the ones who we work for. Because 
really what happens when you pass over, there's a life review, when you review your entire life and see what happened, what didn't happen. And sometimes, let's say, for example, there might be, let's say, a father who didn't love his daughter, didn't tell his daughter he loved her enough, and he really wished he did. And now he has an opportunity, maybe, to come here tonight, to come through and tell that to her. So we want to be open, and maybe you don't want to hear from him, but for him, he needs that in that room. So that's what we're going to say, have an open mind. Just have an open mind to see who comes in. One healing or one message is for everyone. Every single person will be affected by every single message because we're all having a human experience. We're souls having this human experience. Remember that. So you're a soul having a human experience, not the other way around. And 20% of the soul is in the body, 80% of our soul is outside the body. There's something for you to think about, but you're here in Encinitas, you know this, where we live, you know. We'll live in the bubble, you know this. Very aware. It's a very aware space here, right? Go with Ananda, the whole thing. So, so what we thought we would do is so Linda is going to um, uh, work with spirit first with three contacts. And then I'll go after that and do three contacts. And then we'll take an intermission so you can use the restrooms and, um, and buy some books. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll do some more. And then we're going to do something very, very special at, at, toward the end of the second part, which is called the double link, which is we both link into the same spirit and bring through different aspects of that spirit. And that's something that's rare to see really well done, as I do. I'm going to say that because it's true. We really do. No want. pressure. No pressure. No, we want to, we do, we do really well. Last time we did some of a red book, and I said, a red book, and then she got the title, and I said, I have the page number, and then she had the information that was on the page, and so it's, it's fun, it's interesting. Don't say things like that, we expect more. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Have a good time, enjoy it, and, and, and really listen to every message because you will be touched by everything. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to leave this there, or I'm going to take it over there, so we'll just see. I know. I'm going to start like this. Let's see where we go. I don't still very often. Okay, so let's see where we go. Okay. So straight away I'm aware of a lady and I know she's mum to someone here. I know she's mum that's strong, she's independent, I know she speaks her mind so she, uh, she makes no apology for it. Uh, I feel with her she would have had a cancerous condition, I know she looks at her daughter here but I feel that there's more than one person together uh, in the family that's here. Uh, I know that she goes in and out of hospital a couple of times, I feel the cancer is in my stomach here but I know that when she goes to the spirit world it has moved, it has spread to other parts of her body. Now I do feel that she's someone that also uh, maybe did not speak too much about what she was suffering at the beginning so she kept things to herself. Uh, she, uh, she didn't want to make a fuss about things. She would make a fuss when she wanted to make a fuss, but that was it. So who would I be with? Mum in the spirit world, passes with cancer. I've got a hand up over there. Oh, quite a few hands. Hold on, then just bear with me. Um, so uh, I, I know that the name Susan or Susie connects with either her or you in some way. It's a name that's familiar to you. I also know she would have a sister or sister-in-law in the spirit world with her as well. Um, I also feel with her that not everyone was with her to say goodbye. So I know that not everyone got the things, got the time to say the things they wanted to say. Who is still with me? Who am I with? Lady here, lady there. I'm just trying to see hands. Can you stand up, those that understand? Sorry, because I can't see you all. Okay, okay. So, um, can, can I just come to the ladies here first? Are you sisters? Okay, because I know that I had to talk about more than one person together, two of mine. If I had to be with you ladies, you would understand your mum's determination of you're not going to do this to me anymore, I've had enough, yep, where it comes to a treatment. You understand this? Speak to me. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much, um, but I do feel I'm with you. Um, is it okay to work with you girls? Perfect, good, okay. And you understand the name Susan or Susie? Okay, perfect, good. Okay, so mum pulled no punches, okay? She says it as it is. I know I'm feisty, I know I'm outspoken, I know that I'm, I'm, making, I'm here to make business. I'm here to make business. Now I get this feeling that mum's, she's like this lioness, isn't she? She's like a lioness with her cubs. And, and I can say what I like about them, but if anyone else says anything about them, 
they come through me first, okay? So I know your mum's fiercely protective of you. Now, I feel with her um, that you would understand what I said as well, that there's this feeling of when she first becomes unwell, and you're all noticing it, that she's saying, oh, it's fine, it's fine, there's nothing wrong. She just dismisses it, dismisses it. Uh, so I know she had to be forced to go to the doctors, she had to be forced to go to the hospital, but it was just because the signs were too apparent. You understand? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, I know your mum's got a really wicked sense of humour, and I don't mean nasty, wicked for me, In where I come from is I've got a cracking sense of humour. I would love to spend time with your mum. Do you understand that? Okay, because I know that she loves to be around younger people because it keeps her young, but I also know she's got a way of charming people as well, hasn't she? She's just got that lovely, nurturing way, and when it came to doctors and nurses, it didn't matter who it was, she had the ability to just get them to do what she wanted to do, okay? Now I feel with her, which one of you keeps finding the feathers? You keep finding feathers everywhere. I do. Okay, just like pillows erupted. Yeah. Yes, okay. Um, I feel that also, now, one of you is, keeps having a bird come in your garden that taps on the window or taps somewhere. Because I'm seeing this bird that comes in your garden or comes in your, you call it a yard, don't you? <laughs> Sorry, different language. Yes? Um, I, I recently moved, before I moved. Okay, there was a bird that kept coming in the garden and just sitting, staring at you. Yes? yes? Okay. Your mum's not turned into a bird. It's just, <laughs> that, it was just a sign to say. It was like a sign, uh, um, a little uh, moment to give you her approval. You would understand this? Because there was a big question mark about whether you should move or where you should go in some way. But I just know that mum comes to bring her approval, okay? Now I feel with you, uh, both of you girls, because she talks about also when you were younger and the fact that you've always been so very different, okay? But you haven't always, you don't always see to eye, eye to eye, as siblings do, but you know, when the chips are down, we come together. And I know that when mum was unwell, and certainly when she passes, I know that you came together much tighter, much closer, and I know that this warms her heart. You understand this? I know she passes around the time of someone's birthday as well, because it's the time when we would normally celebrate, it becomes a, yes? Okay. Now, um, I also feel with your mum, she did love a party, didn't she? So I know that your mum <coughs> would love to laugh and would love to joke and she, she loved everyone coming together to have a, a real good, what we call in, in London, a knees up. Yep, so <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my language. <laughs> so I know that your mum loves just to see everyone having fun. She loves to feed people, she wants to make them eat even if they're not hungry. <laughs> she loves to make desserts and cakes and breads and she does this cake thing with cream on the top. Yes? And there's another one with coconut, which I really don't like, but um, I, I just know that I see that in there as well. And I know that one of you has her recipe books. Okay, but also one of you has uh, a flower that's been pressed. This has been taken either from one of her bouquets or from her funeral. Would you understand this? There's a, there's, if you go into one of her cookery books, okay, you've got one cookery book that's got some of her handwriting in. Yep, you've not gone through them, have you? I, uh, yes, I have when I moved there. Okay, there was one, there, I'm seeing a book, if my mind has changed it from a cookery book to another book, I don't know, but I'm seeing a book that when I open that front leaf, there's, a, there's some paper, and I know that I see a flower that's pressed, okay, so I want you to look for it, okay? But I know mum comes to say thank you to you. She doesn't just come to talk to you, she comes to say thank you to you. There's, there's part of you girls, and I don't know if it's the lady to my left, that you've been feeling more guilty about, I could have done more, or I should have done more, or I should have seen her more. There's, there's this feeling of, you couldn't have done any more for me than you possibly did. Do you understand that? Yes? Okay, which one of you was sitting on her right hand side and holding her hand? You've got to turn yourself around now, haven't you? <laughs> okay, okay. I want to go to my right side because I've just got a feeling here Which of someone... Was when she passed? Or... I, I'm, I don't know. I just know that I get this feeling of someone holding my hand and I know that someone is sitting talking to me but I can't verbalise. I can't speak back. 
Do you understand? Because there's been this question mark of whether, you, whether she heard you, whether she heard what you were saying to her, because she says they wouldn't say goodbye to me because goodbye means forever and it's not forever. But she says they wouldn't say goodbye, but they said we will see you again. Yes. yes, okay. And I know she comes with this overwhelming emotion and this feeling of they're my girls, they're my babies, but I'm so, so proud of all they've achieved. Um, and I also feel, I know you said you've moved, but there's got to be a situation in the family where someone else is talking of moving house or moving in some way. Okay, well if your brother's moving, your brother's moving. <laughs> talking, okay, yeah, there's, there's a discussion, okay? Just that mum's aware of it. Now your brother doesn't talk about your mum very often, okay? He finds it hard to talk about her, or he'll talk about her for short periods of time and then he changes the subject. And I know mum sends healing to your brother to try and help him cope with that situation, to make it an easier space for him uh, to share with you uh, the laughter about your mum as much as the tears about your mum. Do, do you understand this? Okay. Now, I also just get this feeling of wanting to place a, a St. Christopher in your hand. A St. Christopher in your hand. Uh, and that feeling comes with this sense that there's been talk of travel or there's been talk of moving around and visiting and traveling, but wanting to just keep you safe. And I'm not saying anything's going to happen to you because it's not. It's just your mum's way. Because every time you left, she'd say, take care of yourself, look after yourself, be careful. So, yep, so she'd always give you that little token or that little bit of uh, support in some way that says, I'm still watching over you as your mum. Okay? Now, one of you has just recently heard the spirit world call to you, heard the sound of someone talking to you when there's been no one else in the house. Yes, that's yourself. Because I know mum comes and she brings the sound, it doesn't sound like mum's voice, but I know it's her way of saying to you or calling to you uh, in that sense that says I'm here. Uh, and if I'm correct, then your sister, uh, <coughs> yourself, that just out of your right eye, every now and again, you see like a white flash. You do as well. Okay, because again, I know it's as mum moves near you, there's a movement of energy that just gets your attention, and it's just, again, her way of saying, girls, I'm here. Okay? She comes with much love. She comes with much fun. She comes with healing as well for both of you. Okay? Uh, but I know that your mum comes to say thank you. And I hear new... Okay, wait a minute. Your mum, once she gets going, she doesn't want to stop. Um, <laughs> Because uh, I hear music, so I know music was played for her in some way. Would you understand this? Okay, okay. I just know I hear music and I know it brings me peace. That's the feeling that I get. Uh, and I also know she says, thank you for telling me it was okay to go. Okay, thank you for telling me it's okay to go because that was the gift of life for me. Uh, she comes with her love, she comes with her laughter, uh, but she comes to say, stop, um, don't ever stop being you. Okay, don't ever stop being you. Uh, and the sister with the microphone, uh, you, you don't have to try and be me holding the family together. You can work it out between you. Okay, so I know she just comes with so much for you girls. Um, and I just want to say it was a joy working with her. So thank you so much for allowing me to work with you.